Good morning, everybody. Uh, those who are contacting us through this medium, thank you for tuning in. This is Juan Ocasio, founder of the House of Truth Christian Ministries. We are an end times preaching organization. We preach about the coming day of the wrath of the Lord and the Lamb, who is Jesus Christ. John the Baptist said that Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, who shed his perfect blood for the salvation of all mankind, who have faith in the gift of God, of eternal life through Christ Jesus only. For those who have faith in the grace of God through Christ Jesus, and those who believe that Jesus came on the flesh, he died on the cross, and he was raised on the third day and sits on the right side of the Father. And he's coming to judge not just the living, but also the dead, and to reestablish the kingdom of God on earth, under new heavens and new earth, and a new Jerusalem, as the Bible says in the book of Revelation, you'll be saved. We are not saved by works. We are not saved because we're pious or we are so holy or we are because we are good according to man's standards or church standards or or other organization standards and governments no we are saved by faith by faith on god through christ jesus alone if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth so roman chapter 10 that jesus rose from the dead you'll be saved the message is very short today. Uh, I want you to know that as long as I live, I will keep on preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God in accordance with what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ told us to do, which is recorded in the gospel of Matthew. Matthew chapter 24. Uh, you hear me saying these verses over and over again. As a marker of the end times, the House of Truth Christian Ministries will keep preaching the, the gospel. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. People, the times of the church age is almost over. The time of the rise of Antichrist, his false prophet, the creation of the mark of the beast is at hand. With that said, the Bible told us to be watchful. It's our mission as watchmen, just like Habakkuk chapter two, verse one says that we are watching to see what the Lord is going to do, to see the rebuke of the Lord on the earth, we have to know that we, as preachers of the gospel, we are going to face persecution, not just at local level, but at the global level, all earthwide. The church will experience persecution, and after the church is taken away, is caught up in the rapture, those who are left behind who come to Christ during the Great Tribulation will experience severe persecution that is prophesied in Revelation, and in other books of the Holy Bible. It's our mission that we have to be watchful. Paul told us what to do in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. And he said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, 
wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. As a matter of fact, uh, our Facebook page, the hyperlinks that we created that you could connect with Parlor, with Patreon, which is a subscription-based uh, site in which we post biblical classes. And also BitChute was the, one of the newest additions that we had in our arsenal to uh, publicize the gospel, had been eliminated. The hyperlinks don't work. When I try to go to the different pages that I created in which I used to preach the gospel, uh, upload the videos or do live stream have been eliminated. The only ones that remain in the list of hyperlinks in the Facebook page that still work is the website, which is www.thehouseoftruthministries.com and twitch.tv. That is part of the persecution that we as end time preachers are experiencing. We are experiencing opposition from mainstream media. We are facing opposition from liberal sides of the government, not just in America, but also worldwide, in which the platforms that the Christians are used, because we are impeded to go physically to, to preach in houses of worship, which cannot be understood as churches, because the churches is where there are two or three gather in the name of Jesus. That's the church. We have to understand that the church is the body of Christ, the people who have been saved, the people who have been born again of the water and of the spirit, we are the church, we are the body of Christ uh, for which Jesus is coming down to cut us up in heaven. As per 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we have to understand there's a difference between the building and the church or body of Christ because the building can be repossessed, destroyed, Repo says it can, it, anything can happen to the house of worship. Uh, so we are the body of Christ. So the body of Christ will be cut up in heaven. But the persecution is coming to the level that we are now being impeded by this new government, that we are not allowed to preach the gospel. We are being suspended accounts and, and we are being targeted because we're not with what is now a common trend to say, the narrative of this world. The word of God is unpopular because we're preaching repentance. That's the first thing. Actually, that's the first word that John the Baptist and Jesus also said when they started their own ministries. The first word was a verb. And they say, repent. And repent is not just simply know what sin is, but it's also to feel uh, bad about the sin and do something about it, which is to turn away from it, stop sinning, and confess the sin to God and accept Jesus as the Savior, personal Savior and Lord. And once you confess these sins, stop practicing it and stay with God and stay away from sin. People don't want to hear the preaching of the gospel because they have to forsake this world. They have to forsake the way of living. They have to stop cursing. They had to stop adultering. They had to stop stealing and lying and killing. They had to stop coveting or, or desiring the things that they did not work for. They had to acknowledge God first, worship God in all things, to be holy in conduct, be holy in behavior. And although we are imperfect, still, still born in the sin of Adam, we are being renewed by the new birth which came of Jesus Christ, which is the last Adam, says the Bible. And, and because of that, now we understand that we have to give our very best to the Lord, worship Him in truth and spirit with all our mind, all our strength, all our might, mind, soul, and body. We have to stay consecrated to the Lord. That's the first commandment Jesus said. And the second is to love our neighbor as ourselves, regardless of the nation they come from, regardless of the language they speak, regardless of the color of the skin, regardless of the, of the race and ethnicity. But also we have to remain holy in the sense of 
that we have to love what God loves and hate what God hates. We denounce the sin because God says that anything that is not of the Word of God, that is not found in the Holy Bible, the written Word of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit, is an abomination. If it's an abomination, we have to stay away from it, not touch it, not, not enjoy it, not indulge ourselves in their sin because we become accomplices with those who practice it or consent in their practices. And, and once we know what the will of God is, we know how to hate the sin, not the person, but the sin they practice. We have to announce repentance. We have to announce the kingdom of God. That is the real government. Says Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, that is coming to reestablish the true justice and righteousness of God. That's what Jesus said. Jesus came on the first time as a, as a man of sorrows to show us the way to the Father through him. But when he comes back, Jesus is coming like a warrior king to establish the true justice of God. The whole people of Israel who rejected him, who rejected the prophets before him, will have to acknowledge that Jesus is Messiah, that Jesus is Christ. And finally, once Israel, during the period of Jacob's trouble, during the great tribulation that will lead to Armageddon, Israel will be saved. The church will be long gone. The Antichrist and the rulership of the Antichrist and the false prophet that will force the mark of the beast, whatever that is, onto mankind will mark people for destruction and those who stay with the gospel, those who stay with Jesus Christ, will be object of fierce persecution, a martyrdom. We have to know this truth. Right now, as an update, so our big shoot account, our patron account, and our parlor account, which are conservative, Christian free speech sites have been turned down, have been turned off. That shows us that the powers that be at government levels and corporate levels are working hand to hand to prevent the true gospel of the Christian faith to be disseminated to those who need to know Christ before the end. Joshua said that choose for yourself the gods you want to choose. The gods from the other side of the flood, the gods of the Amorites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, or those gods from the Egyptians, which the Israelites were slaves for 400 years, or those gods that were there in the Canaan area. But uh, Joshua said, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You see this cross behind me, that's the finished work of, uh, of Jesus. Jesus is the only way to the Father. Jesus is the only mediator, no man, no matter what your credentials are. Jesus is the only mediator between man and God. Jesus is the only one who gave his life. Jesus is the only one who was born perfect. Jesus is the only one who is the Son of God, both God and man, to lead us back to the Father. The Holy Spirit, which is the third part of the Holy Trinity, is the one that stays with us. We were born again in the Spirit. He lives with us, and it will be taken out of the way, along with the church. And then after that, the wrath of God and the Lamb will be poured out onto an unbelieving world until the wrath of God is completely fulfilled. Let's assure that we are in pure confidence that the will of God will be completed. We stand with Christ Jesus and His kingdom that will never be destroyed or passed with nobody, according to Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And Jesus told us to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And Jesus also said what is written in Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We are kings and priests unto the Lord the Father, by Jesus, according to Revelation chapter 1, and we will be part of that blessed outcome when all things will be subject back to God the Father. To God be the glory. The House of Truth Christian Ministries will stand still. We see the salvation of the Lord. We are not hopeless. We are not afraid. We will keep preaching the message of the gospel without fear. Because we have the boldness of Christ, and we have the faith of the Lord, and whatever the enemy throws at us, persecution directly or indirectly, or rebellion, or apostasy, or any kind of thing that comes through 
against us shall not prevail, because no weapons form against us shall prevail, because the Lord is with us. And we believe that. Support our, our ministry, help and pray that we keep preaching the, the gospel to as many people as possible. We have links and contacts in Asia, Africa, South America, North America, and now some countries in Europe. We are not doing this for any kind of promotion or any kind of uh, pat on the back or giving us credit. All the credit goes to the Father in Christ Jesus who allows us to preach the gospel to show the people the way back to the Father, which is through Jesus Christ. And we esteem the Word of God as the holy inspired letter from God to us that shows us His plans for us from the beginning until all eternity. Because for those who believe, and those who have faith, have passed from death unto life and to life eternal. That's what the House of Truth Spiritual Ministries is trying to preach. Repentance, turn away from sin, accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, be born again in the water and the Spirit, and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Because the church is going to be taken away. And after that, once the wrath of God is poured without measure, full measure upon this earth, at the end, all things will be made new. A new heavens and a new earth where righteousness shall dwell in the new Jerusalem, according to Second Peter and Revelation chapter 20, that we are going to receive the blessings. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. There's no weapon form against the church of Christ that will prosper. And therefore, we are confident that if they shut us one door, God will open another door, another door service, so we can keep preaching without fear and total boldness, just like the apostles did. Pray for my family and pray for all our brothers and sisters who are sick, for those who are in bed, for our elderly. Pray for our widows and our orphans who need good male role models who follow and fear Christ. Do not fear men. After they destroy the body, what can they do? Nothing. However, fear he who has the power to cast the body and, and soul in hell. Having said that, have a great day. Have a blessed Sunday. Keep watching. Watch and pray so you will be worthy to escape all these things that are uh, about to happen and to stand in the presence of the Lord, says Revelation. We will receive so much more. So no matter if we lose father or mother or daughters or sons or brothers or sisters or friends or properties, even our, our own life, we will earn a hundred times more through Jesus and eternal life. Have a nice day.